everyone and welcome back to another Excel training tutorial. We're going through everything that you need to know for the MRS Excel Expert Exam. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use GoalSeek, which is a what-if analysis function. What do we mean by what-if analysis? This is like, what would happen if I paid a little extra on my monthly car payments? Or, what if I offered a discount on my flowers for Mother's Day? Or, what if I want to pay my house off in 10 years instead of 20 years? The What If Analysis tool allows Excel to evaluate and to change values so that you can see how those changes would affect your desired outcome. There are three kinds of What If Analysis functions, Goal Seek, Scenarios, and Data Tables. In this video, we are going through Goal Seek, which will help you find the optimal value in a formula. When you set up a worksheet for Goal Seek, you usually have a formula in one cell and formula variables with the initial value. GoalSeek operates by trying different values in a formula until it converges on a solution. Before you run GoalSeek, you need to set up your worksheet in a specific way. Set up one cell as the changing cell, then set up the other input values for the formula, then create a formula for GoalSeek to use to reach its goal. In our example, we will use Goal Seek to determine the discount price of the flowers for our Mother's Day promotion. Take note of the price we normally sell our flowers for. For this special occasion, we'll be offering a discount on the price of flowers. However, we still want to make a profit of at least 30000 and we must consider the extra storage costs, which will total us at 35000 Now let's work out the promotional price for the Mother's Day flowers using GoalSeek. In the data tab, select what if analysis, then select GoalSeek. When Excel displays the GoalSeek dialog box, in the select cells field, enter or select from the worksheet the cell that contains the formula. In the to value field, enter the formula result that you want. For example, we want our gross profit to be 35000 In the By Changing Cell field, enter or select the reference or the cell that contains the value that you want to change. Then select OK. Excel will then display the GoalSeek status dialog box. GoalSeek considered all the different values and found the optimal price for the profit we wanted. If you later realize you hadn't considered other expenses, you can change your profit or end result and work out the new optimal price using GoalSeek. And that's a wrap on how to use GoalSeek. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us on Facebook if you want regular updates. In the next video, we'll be going through another what if analysis tool called Scenario Manager. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. I look forward to hosting you in the next video. I'm Deborah Gray. Until next time, happy advanced Excel training.